<laughs> El Cadejo El Cadejo is a legendary animal from the Mesoamerican region, well known in rural and even urban areas of Mexico and Central America. It is said to be a mythical dog, or two dogs, which generally appears to those who roam late at night and to whom mysterious powers are attributed. The different versions of the legend in Central America describe a white and a black Cadejo, generally benign and malignant, respectively, or simply a single black Cadejo, generally malignant. The legend of the Cadejo is a relic of an ancient belief that every human owns a pet. This mythical animal is twice that of man, in such a way that the illness or death of the former entails the illness or death of the latter. Currently, parallels can be drawn between the foregoing and Western religious thought, which holds that man has a guardian angel who protects him from harm. The belief supposes the existence of a companion animal for each man. Also, this character has a pre-Columbian Mayan resonance as a benefactor spectrum guardian of the ways. This animal accompanies man in all his solitary trips at night, and in the version of two Cadejos, white protects him and defends him against the evil spirits incarnated in the black Cadejo, a dark color that symbolizes death, that is, evil in all its manifestations. Characteristics The evil Cadejo ranges in size according to different tales in various regions. It lurks in graveyards and dark alleys, waiting to attack a passing victim. It has a distinctive smell of concentrated urine and burning sulfur. It rattles with a jerking motion, contracting its pharynx. Its gaze freezes anyone who makes eye contact. Its skin and short hair, similar to those of a pig, glitter in the pitch dark. There are three types of black cadejos. The first is the devil himself, in the form of a large, wounded dog with hoofed feet that are bound with red-hot chains. It is said that not even the white Cadejo is able to completely stop him. Unlike the regular black Cadejo, it is not likely to pursue and attack a passing person, as it is a scout, the eyes of evil. Instead, anyone who sees him will experience a tragic event. This variety of Cadejo terrorizes a young abbess and robs her of her braid and Nobel Prize laureate Miguel Angel Asturias short story Leyenda del Cadejo, Legend of the Cadejo. The second type of Cadejo is a mysterious, evil dog, it kills and savagely tears through its victim. First, it demoralizes him with a series of sounds and other signs that it is nearby. Then, after the victim is scared, it leaps and will kill him if the white Cadejo is not near. The third and least powerful type of black Cadejo is the offspring of a normal dog and the regular Cadejo. It is a mortal hybrid and can with difficulty, be killed by a strong man, bearing in mind that most men in those regions only carry a machete for protection. Once dead, it will completely rot in a matter of seconds, leaving behind a stain of evil on which grass and moss will never grow again. This Cadejo will never bite its victim. Instead, he kicks and pecks them with his snout. After this happens, people say lo who go el Cadejo, which means he or she was handled by the Cadejo the victim goes mad. This term is sometimes applied to people who are born with a mental illness. A fairly popular version of the legend in El Salvador talks about two brothers who walk into the house of a black magician. During a storm, he asks the boys to help him with some logs for a fire. Both boys slack on the job but eat the man's food. Once he finds out that the little bit of food he had is missing and that there is not enough wood for his fire, he puts a curse on the road that leads to the boy's village. Voices bother the boys, and when they turn their backs on the voices, they get turned into creatures, a white Cadejo and a black one. After going back to their village in their cursed form, they get kicked out and have no choice but to wander, Cadejos as portrayed in art and literature. The Guatemalan-born artist Carlos Loarca, born in 1937, was a painter known for utilizing the Cadejo as a main motif in his paintings. As a child, Loarco was told the legend, and he believed that the Cadejo protected his father, as he always came home safely from the cantina. As an adult, Loarco felt the protecting spirit, which helped him break his own alcohol habit. The Cadejo first appeared in his paintings in the 1970s and is still brought into reality through his paintings. 
Lorca states the dog has been a companion and guide and has grown old with him. The Cadejo is also seen in a lot of places, like Copan and Tegucigalpa, which are both in Honduras. El Cadejo appears in an episode of Mystery Science Theater 3000, but is incorrectly depicted as more caprine than canine. Both the black and white Cadejos feature prominently in an episode of Victor and Valentino. Grieverd in Pokémon Scarlet and Violet is based on a Cadejo. The Salvadoran writer Manlio Argueta wrote a children's book describing the folklore of the Cadejo called Magic Dogs of the Volcanoes, Los Perros Mágicos de los Volcanes, 1990. The bilingual Spanish-English edition is translated by Stacy Ross and illustrated by Ellie Simmons.